Hey everyone, thank you for watching Infinite Realms. Today I'm taking a look at Amazon exclusive, uh, highly expensive, Ronan the Accuser. And I feel like with this one I fed the dragon. Um, long ago I had the Ronan Build-A-Figure and it had to get sold and I, that was one I kind of regret because I really liked Ronan. Although I gotta admit, I didn't like that figure. When I heard the announcement for Ronan the Accuser, I was got excited. I heard it was Amazon exclusive. I was like, eh, you know. Then I finally saw it, and I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Forty bucks. And I debated it. I went back and forth and back and forth. And then finally, I don't know, I let it x Man 87 He said he didn't think this one was going to reach clearance like uh, Gore the God Butcher did. And I was like, oh no, oh no. And I just took the plunge and caught him. And I kind of regret it, because now I fed the dragon. I keep that's my expression. Don't feed the dragon. And I fed the dragon. Um, so let's knock some things out of the way first. All I have is this indie box to pick, compare it to, and this box is huge. I and that's kind of funny because this mold has been used before with regular size packaging. It was used with both Death Death's Head and Colossus so yeah that's weird so I decided to do the unboxing on camera and of course when I opened it up it's pretty obvious I mean it's dang obvious that this figure did not need to be in that packaging that's way oversized packaging I mean the hammer I admit is huge but it did not need a box that big for the hammer. There's no other accessories with this either. I mean it's just the hammer. So out of the box, hmm, now those shoulder pads have had a lot of talk and I actually went online. I tried to find some source material here. I don't ever remember Ronan wearing shoulder pads that big. And I'll be darned if uh, searches I did, I, I couldn't find any pictures of him wearing any kind of shoulder pads that huge. Now, I will say, you know, the design, I mean, at least they fixed it to where he can move his head back and forth. I mean, that's pretty okay. Uh, you know, so there was some thought put into that. But, you know, again, I struggle with these shoulder pads. You can't put him into Ronin-like poses. I mean, the shoulder pads basically get him out that far. And, you know, you try to put his hand up in the air and it just doesn't work it's kind of baffling to me <laughs> so I'm just gonna be straightforward I really honest to God I just decided screw it I took the shoulder pads off yeah there's these weird little holes in the front and back in his front and back but you know I, I think he looks better without them so one of the things I do appreciate is you know at least there is detailing everywhere um, you know, they sculpted it in on the hood, they sculpted it in on the shoulder pads, and in the torso and on his skirt. I mean, it's all, you know, Hasbro would normally just paint this, so at least they gave us that much. Is it worth the price tag? No. But they gave us something, at least, and the detailing on the hammer is good. I think the hammer's a little oversized, but I'm willing to let that pass. And so another weird thing is, this has some of the stiffest joints I've ever seen on a Marvel Legend. I have heated this guy up twice, and if I let him sit for a little while, he stiffens back up again. And last week, it was warm. Uh, it was in the 70s, <laughs> believe it or not. And yeah, it's still stiff as a board. It is kind of infuriating in a way because it's like, you know, what do you need to do? His torso is kind of loose, actually. I wouldn't say loose, loose, but I mean, he's kind of loose, but his arms and his legs it's like if I let them sit too long they stiffen right back up and uh, it's a pain in the ass uh, after all that I mean reuse is fine I, I get that reuse on an overpriced figure already is not and as a figure itself I would say four stars I mean without the shoulder pads I think he looks the part of Ronan with the shoulder pads it, it's weird I don't understand it but the thing is the price tag has to come into play and 
with the price tag, I gotta knock it all the way down to two and a half stars. This is a this is a figure that's been done twice, and it's a five year old body, and it went for twenty bucks at the time. I mean, this should not have been more than twenty five. Uh, it's almost twice the tag it should have been. And I think it's because they knew this would be a high demand figure because it's Ronan the Accuser, and old school comic fans like me love this guy. So. That's what I think has happened. It's just a money grab. And don't tell me Hasbro's not doing that. PlayStation Spider-Man. Okay, I do like Ronan. I, I'm glad I got another Ronan back in my collection. I am upset about the price. So that's really my final thoughts on Ronan the Accuser. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to wrap up Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.